Hello guys, welcome to my latest video. So uh, in this video I'm gonna teach you how to play um, Counter Strike 1.6 but this time around it's not gonna be the gold source engine as always it's going to be obviously something more crazy, something newer which is uh, playing Counter Strike 1.6 but using the Sash 3D engine. If you're familiar with this engine um, this has already been out for a couple of years, uh, especially for Android, uh, where you're able to play Counter-Strike and Half-Life and other mods, uh, especially in Android. But also there was a possibility until recently to play also in the computer, but only Half-Life and other mods, but not specifically Counter-Strike. So now in the last couple of months, um, some people made it possible, there are a couple of versions that I found in the internet uh, so I took the liberty to create two folders one is the build 1200 and the other one is the build 2495 so um, this is basically Sash 3D enabling you, enabling you to play Counter-Strike using this engine in your computer because up to today it was only or a couple of months ago only being able to play uh, Counter Strike in Sash, but in Android. But the novelty about this video is that you will be able to play it in the computer. And as you saw in the intro of the video, you will be able to play it also even in LAN using, you know, your cell phones and your computers alike. So let's start talking by where you can get these things. Obviously, you go to my webpage, you go to gravisoftnet.com as always, you go to forum, register once you're accepted you will see something like this. The latest thread up to today is going to be Sash 3D Counter-Strike 1.6. And once you access this one, just download it and, um, you know, extract the files and everything else. So um, just to mention it and to give it a shout out, uh, one of the versions here published, um, as I told you, there are a couple of versions out there, but the most recent one that I was able to get was this one made by, this is a fork from the original one, made by Kung Fulong and uh, here you can see the the github repository so make sure to always check the latest files but it's not going to be as easy as it claims because if you go to here into the Counter-Strike guide it's not as easy as it seems because um, I did completely as mentioned here I did it several times and it doesn't work it has a little trick with which I'm going to show you guys so, um, so once you download my files, you get you will get these two folders. Uh, one folder is basically, uh, as you see, I, I put it in this in the name of the folder, uh, is the more uh, old one version, one thousand two hundred. But you can see that it says Android compatible, meaning that using this version, which is the one that I prefer so for so far, uh, even though it's a bit older than this one. Uh, with this one you will be able to play, uh, you know, with people using the mobile version of, of Sash Counter-Strike. And also, it's pretty cool, it doesn't have anything major. And also, the newer version, you, you, would, you probably will think that it's the better version, but actually, for me, it's not, because it's basically the same as the other one, but this one, the newer one, has some errors, it has some, uh, you know, especially the knife model, it's inverted, you know, I will show you what I'm talking about here. So first, uh, all you have to do here is that I'm going to show you the the 1200 version, uh, which is compatible with Android. Here you will find that we'll get Counter Strike and Valve already completed. I already took the liberty to install, you know, basic AMX mods, uh, you know, AMX, AMX um, support, uh, obviously with MetaMod. It has bots, it has the, you know, the classic pod bots, which are the ones that uh, learn automatically the maps that they don't have waypoints. So uh, it's all fun and games, you have all of this shit. The important thing about this one, th this one is that you execute the game by uh, executing the, you know, the bat, obviously. Um, the bat essentially has, like, refers to the executable, sash mean GW, and then goes uh, to counter strike as always. And um, that's pretty much it. You don't have to touch anything at all. Um, everything is working just right out of the bat. So let's see how it works.
So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. There is one bot here. Uh, you can add uh, more bots if you want. Uh, you can see that the MX mod is already installed. Uh, all the little plugins uh, the, uh, are already installed. You can add more bots by bringing down the console, but add and yeah, no, just a little detail, go to uh, disconnect the session, just keep in mind to go multiplayer LAN, but uh, keep in mind that the numbers here are pretty fucked up, because if you want to type 12, sometimes it doesn't work, but let's just type 22 by for the sake of the video. Just remember to modify it here, because if you don't put it here, the max number of players, you will not be able to add bots inside the game. So now we are going to create a, the, the listen server again. And in theory, you know, you can see that all the bots are adding, are entering the game. So the knife model works perfectly fine. You can see that everything is fine, everything works fine. So let's try to kill somebody before changing to the other version. Okay, no problem. So uh, this this is my preferred one because with this one, as you saw in the beginning of the video, you will be able to play with people that has the cell phone version. So now let's talk about the other version, which is uh, the 49 uh, build 2495. So this is actually the version that uh, from the GitHub repository that I showed you should be the newest one. But the, the thing about this version is that the guide that you can get in the in this little guide that I showed you doesn't really work. At, at least for the last, uh, you know, for the versions that there are here, the, the guide here tells you to download this one from uh, or, or you know building it which is a pain in the ass or just downloading the testing things just download you know in my case I have Windows normal just download the i386 you just get the basic files as I show you you'll get all this all this bullshit but the thing is that some of these especially the sash DLL and the, uh, the this especially VGUI support DLL if you put them they will crash the game, it will not work. So somehow I managed to find versions of these files around the internet which uh, actually work. But if you follow the guide, it will not work. So don't worry, this one is already fixed. Uh, also, another detail is that you'll have to use some kind of Steam crack because this bullshit was made uh, to use uh, you know, the original Steam going on in the background. So if you don't want to do that, just, um, you know, my version is going to be all reapplied with a Smart Steam MU. Uh, you just have to uh, execute the game through here and everything's going to be fine. Just open SSE Launcher. Uh, once you open it, just click it and the game is, is going far up. But the thing is that this version is not compatible with Android phones, as I told you. And also it has some gl graphical glitches, especially the knife. So let's see it. So uh, we're going to create a session here. Also, I don't know why the number one doesn't work, which is weird. Uh, so uh, the thing is that whenever we uh, create, we're going to create a session here. Everything seems to be working normally, but if we change the knife, you can see that the knife model is completely fucked up. You can see that the fingers are fucked up, the, the left hand is inverted, which is weird. Uh, so, so yeah, it's it's kind of a weird thing. And also, if you press zero, no, if you press, uh, well, I don't remember which was the other thing. But in order to add bot, we're just gonna use this one uh, next to the zero with the menu, or you can just type uh, uh, bot add or bot quota twelve, and then you will be able to add as many bots as you please. So this is the same uh, kind of thing, uh, but I prefer the other version because it has it doesn't have the model fucked up, and also because you can play with uh, people with the phones, it's, it's more universal. So yeah, the graphics work, whatever. So see you next time. Hope you subscribe. Hope you like the video. And I'm gonna try to so bye.